Hey guys! So I made this into a video in the past but it was filmed on my iPad and I didn't really like the quality so we're doing it again. I have seen counselors in the past for many different things. For bullying, for family matters, among other things. I have seen and spoken with many different counselors. But there's this one counselor in particular who just... <laughs> Anyways, let's continue. <laughs> So I had been speaking with this particular counselor for quite a while and there was a session that I went into where I was really angry and upset. Now usually I would go into sessions first thing in the morning before school so I would go and have my counseling session and then I would leave the counseling session and go to school and be back in time for the start of second period. I remember sitting in the chair and clenching my fists and saying something like sometimes I just want to ah just like that. Now keep in mind that in that sentence I never once said that I was going to harm myself or harm anyone, nothing like that, nothing at all. I was just frustrated with the current situation and had my hands ball into fists. That was it. After my session, I get dropped off at school for second period. I go to class and just as I sit down at my desk, I hear my name being called over the loudspeaker to go to the office. All my classmates start with the classic, ooh, Paige is in trouble freaking goofs. <laughs> so I head off to the office. The principal and the vice principal sit me down and they inform me that I need to leave the premises ASAP. At this point I'm super confused and I ask obviously why is that? Why do I have to leave the premises? Like what did I do wrong? That's when I was told that my counselor, the one that I had spoken to earlier that day, had phoned the school and she had told them that I was going to harm myself and harm other people, that I was talking about harming myself and harming other people. And not only that but big one here. She said I was going to bomb the school. Where in the f do you get bomb the school from a kid expressing their anger and bawling their fists? Where the hell do you get bomb from that? I never once said anything with regards to hurting myself or hurting other people, let alone bombing the frickin' school. This woman had phoned my principal and told him this false story that she had made up and said that I was a danger to the school so my mom had to come and pick me up and I got to stay home for the rest of the day. Now because of all of this I became rather wary of talking to counselors. I was scared to talk to them and honestly I didn't really trust them after this incident. But after thinking about things for a very long time I have come to the conclusion that it is very unfair for me to generalize. Not all counselors are going to screw me over, they're not going to make up stories like this one woman did. So I went about finding a new counselor and I'm now talking to a new one and here we are. So there you go you guys, that was the story of the counselor who made me wary of trusting any counselors in general. <laughs> At the end of the day if I would have explicitly stated that I wanted to harm myself or harm someone else, at that point, I would have understood. I would have understood why she phoned my principal. I would have understood why I needed to leave the premises. I would have understood if I had said those things, but I didn't. And uh, her making up that story made my life a bit of a living hell uh, at the time. So yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. Actually, also give it a massive thumbs up if you saw the original video that I made, the crappy iPad version. Give this video a thumbs up if you've seen that one or if you remember that one. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys enjoy my videos. Click the little bell icon down below so you're not missing a notification for uploads from me. Keep being awesome and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.